Okay, in the last video we looked at how to use basic maths functions in the interactive window of IDLE or Python. What we're going to have a go at now is using a non-interactive window. So with IDLE open, we go to File, we go to New File, and within the New File we've now got a non-interactive window. This is somewhere where we can type instructions but they won't run immediately. Now we're going to start by saving this, so we're going to go to File, Save As, and we're going to put this into our OneDrive so we can find it later. Now you'll see within here I've already created a folder called Python. If you want to create your own folder you can use the new folder option here. And I'm going to call this one Hello World 2 because I've already had a go at this but you can call it Hello World. Now this creates a title but nothing's happening. So what we want to do now is we want to put some content in. So I'm going to make it do a little bit of typing so I'm going to go print that doesn't mean it comes on the printer, it means it prints onto the screen. We can use a parenthesis, brackets, and some speech marks. And I'm going to just write in, hello world, close the speech marks and close the brackets. Now when I go to run, and go to run module, it will say, do you want to save? Now I haven't saved it, so I press yes. And you'll see what happens here. We typed it into the non-interactive window here, but the result comes up in the interactive window. Now the advantage of this is if I want to say hello world again, I can go run, run module again. I now get two hello worlds. Not the most exciting program in the world, but you can see how this is starting to develop. Now you can start to expand on this. You can try putting some extra speech in. Remembering to put uh, speech marks and brackets around. Run run module. Again, because I've changed something, it will ask, do I want to save it again? I'm going to press OK. And you'll see it now puts both in. Interestingly, you'll see also that even though I put lots of spaces in here, well, one space in here, we're getting no spaces here. If I put loads and loads and loads of spaces in here, and do the same thing, you find, again, Python just ignores them. And the reason for that is this spacing is purely to help you. So it doesn't matter if these are all pushed together or all separated. And we'll come back to why that's important later. For now, try adding some extra speech. Try adding some extra text. And let's see what we can get to print out here. Try repeating the run module and see if you can get it to repeat multiple times. Just remember, you've got your interactive window where things happen immediately. And this is now the non-interactive window that we're working in.